The world's greatest freestyle kayaks in any era, they serve a purpose. That purpose could be to make things easier for anybody paddling. That purpose could be to win the next world championships. For me, if it doesn't do both, you're not doing it right. The rebound <laughs> serves that purpose very well. What does that mean? It's the shortest boat out there, the lightest boat out there, the easiest to paddle boat out there. It's gonna make everything that you've never been able to do that much easier to achieve. If you wanna win the next World Championships, which happens to be in Columbus, Georgia. Wait, did I say it was designed to win Columbus, Georgia? No, I didn't say that, but yeah, it's designed to win Columbus, Georgia. Then it's the boat for you. When I designed a freestyle kayak, I really have uh, some pretty specific things in mind. The Rebound is the shortest freestyle kayak ever designed. There's a reason for that. When you blunt on a wave, there's less boat pushing you downstream. When you cartwheel or loop, there's more rotation in the air. You're gonna complete your moves easier. You go bigger, you go harder. Just an easier boat to paddle. So the Apex Rebound is made in, uh, in, made in Portugal at a place called Nello. Do you know they have like an 80% of the world's flat water sprint racing boats for the Olympics and World Championships are made there. If you want to make a carbon fiber kayak that's like lightweight, strong, and like near perfect, they make like 100 carbon fiber kayaks a week. Unbelievable. The skill sets of the people there, the rebounds made there because I want your boat to be the lightest, the strongest, and the best performing it can be. So the rebound is a compact, short body. It's the shortest boat out there. Well, the rocker's designed if you've got a wave of any size, it's the easiest boat to take off. The rocker gives you the speed to drop in, but the shortness allows you to reel up and get air, whether it be blunts, Pan Ams, air screws, doesn't matter. The rails are just right. The drop chine is just enough to not be edgy, but loose as ball bearings. The deck is a little different than some of the decks I've done in the past. There's a lot of volume in the bow. That volume plugs huge makes massive loops. One of the things you're gonna notice when you're sitting in a rebound, you're sitting slightly stern down, more than you've seen in any other boats. Like, why am I sitting like this? Well, it's extremely short boat, the shortest one out there. When you paddle and charge in, you need to bow to stay up. Also, when you're on a wave, you're gonna see what that is all about because that boat just wants to go up and then wah. Step one, get in the boat, recognize you're stern down. Step two, go in a wave or go in a hole and be like, Oh, I get it now. Yeah, it's awesome. The rebound outfitting, number one, the seat. Every seat is individually machined on a CNC machine out of a mini cell foam. Why would I do that? Why don't I just make a mold? Because every seat is an incremental improvement. We're making the perfect seat. You know, there's really, I'll, I'll be blunt, there aren't very many good kayak seats out there. This is the first kayak seat that I think you're gonna get in and be like, oh, epic. So check out the kayak seat, and guess what? It's not perfect for everybody, because everybody's got a different butt. So we'll make multiple ones. 2023, plastic boats. What is unique about the plastic boats? They'll be the lightest plastic boats out there. How do I know that? Because I know how much all the boats weigh, and I know how to make it lighter. Light is high performance. Ooh. I only have one recommendation for the rebound. You need to get in and try one. You get in and try one, it's game over you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. Everything you've been doing is gonna go bigger, go easier, and be more fun. Simple as that.